Greetings. Stop taking your money to a so-called church building. Instead of you taking your money to the altar by the request of your pastor, my encouragement to you is that you should build a money altar in your house, your dwelling place, because your body is actually the house or the temple that God resides. For God is the very life within you. So when you get your money and you pay yourself first and you consecrate that money knowing that you're bringing it before the true altar because you yourself is one with money because money is energy and you are mass of energy as a matter of fact everything is energy vibration and frequency now when you understand that and you do exactly what i'm saying to you then you would experience abundance and prosperity in your life and it is very important for you to understand why you should take why you should not take your money to a so-called church or listen to a pastor calling upon you to bring your money to his altar that is you giving away your power to another but when you take one tenth of whatever you earn and you keep it for yourself with the awareness of what money is and the awareness of your spiritual self knowing that your spirit having a human experience and you know that the windows of heaven will be opened up to you and pour you out a blessing you know that window of heaven is speaking about that inner intelligence that is within you that will open up all the doors for you to prosper and to grow and to expand in wisdom, knowledge and understanding. So, my brother and my sisters, before I go any further, I would like to encourage you to get my book that is called How to Open the Floodgates of Abundance that is based on Malachi chapter 3. Okay? So if you haven't gotten that book, I'll definitely encourage you to get it. Because when you have the understanding that you are the altar, that you are the temple, and that you're supposed to bring your money to yourself, then you will see what it really means to have the windows of heaven really open up to you. So, my brother, my sisters, what you're doing when you take your money and you carry it to a, a so-called church, you're carrying it under the enchantment of someone outside of yourself. You're saying that your Lord, your God, your Savior, your Redeemer is outside of yourself. So you are bringing it to an altar of idolatry. So the reason why most people have been taking their money to an altar of idolatry is because they believe that the Bible is literal and that the Bible is secular history. But I have good news for you. The Bible is a book of mind science and should be interpreted psychologically. And even if you disagree with me, it takes a force, a thought for you to disagree with me, which would actually prove that the Bible is psychological because you have to use your psyche to disagree with me. So, as I was saying, when you look outside of yourself and you believe in idolatry, it will keep you in mediocrity. It will keep you in a mindset of lack. It will keep you in darkness. It will keep you in junk. Instead of having the experience of a springtime. Of bringing forth. That is why most people who believe that there is a man who existed 2,000 years ago to be their savior. Why they always find themselves being the borrower instead of the lender being the tail instead of the head 
being beneath instead of above. The reason why they all find themselves in that kind of situation because they're still trapped in idolatry. And idolatry will definitely keep you in mental slavery. So, my brother, my sisters, you have to have the right concept of money and you have to understand the spirituality behind money. Therefore, when you have the right understanding, you will not take your money to someone else to cast their spell or their enchantment over it. You would know that exactly where you are standing, it is holy ground because you are holy. You will know that you are the holy one. You will know that you are the righteous one because you would know that God in man is man's imagination. And when you believe that God in man is man's imagination, you can imagine how you, how you would like your money to circulate. You would, you would imagine how you would like your money to be invested. So if you're going to invest your money in preachers so for them to buy jets and for them to, to give the better things of life to themselves and their family and make you believe that you're doing something good to the rest of humanity, you're actually partaking in stupidity. You're partaking in idolatry. And that will not help you to live the best version of your life here. Okay? So, my brother, my sister, in short, secular Christianity have been keeping people in poverty mentality and, in, and most of all in idolatry. And you've been harboring a cause over your money by taking it into a so-called church building when you are the church. So, my last encouragement to you is to build a money altar in your house. Have a place that will keep a certain amount of money and have the elements there, like, the, like, the, like, 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 like water, something from the earth, something with fire, like you can light your candle. And the wind is always blowing, okay? And you are the spirit. And always speak whatever you want to speak over your, over your money altar. Because when you do that, you are acknowledging the altar that is within you as a money altar, knowing that you are energy, as I said before, and money is energy. And you are, you are being one with your currency. So, what I'm telling you to do is not spooky. It is you having the understanding of alchemy. And alchemy is you learning to transmute energy. And as I said before, money is energy. So build yourself a money altar instead of you running to an altar and throwing money to these preachers who want to keep you in ignorance. So, with that being said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me and what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you and you have a subscriber already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram or you like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to support this work because it's helping you, always remember that there's a PayPal and the link is down below. And if you feel led also to be a part of my Patreon community, you are most welcome to be a part of my Patreon community. Also, I just want to remind you that I have a course there for people who are donating 20 or more dollars. It's called the Innocent Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. So if you feel strongly led to listen to these videos that is pointing you to be in alignment with the sun or the light that is within you, you can definitely feel free to check out those videos. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.